Here's what Consumer Reports thinks of the Tesla Cybertruck. Jalopnik. I do not like Elon Musk or the Tesla Cybertruck, and if that's news to you, I hope you enjoy your FI. RST Day on Jalopnik. I won't pretend the Model S isn't the most important car of the 21st century because it just is, but Musk and the Cybertruck are hot garbage. The great thing about Jalopnik, though, is that we've never pretended to be objective. We share our personal opinions and admit we have biases. Consumer Reports, on the other hand, works to be as unbiased as possible. So what do they tee? Below are your comments. I live in a small subdivision kinda in the middle of nowhere, it was shocking to see one here the OT. Her day. It's as hideous as I imagined. I saw a Rivian and really thought it was sharp. You know why Tesla did such a great job of sound insulation on it? So you won't hear all the laughter as you drive by. Wow! Taking delivery of a six-figure vehicle. I presume they set up a time to arrive. To find it dirty and uncharged after you schlepped out into the lot to find it? Musk is going to find his lack of customer service is going to turn people off. Honestly, I find this thing absolutely hideous, but to apparently have it so poorly designed is not. Cool. Then again, design isn't Tesla's thing as I don't think there has been a single redesign of any Vehi. Cle since Musk took over the company. Minor tweaks, but nothing major because car designers cost money. Wind testing costs money. Sorry, but Tesla couldn't give me a Cybertruck for free. Everything I have heard is nothing short of a horror story. Many have stated that Tesla's customer service is the worst in the automotive industry. Go to YouTube and watch Tesla videos. You will hear complaint after complaint. Technical issue one after another. Doesn't sound like a company I would ever do business with. From gouging prices to poor delivery dates to fulfill orders. Nothing impresses me about Tesla. EVs have fantastic acceleration, but with all the Tesla complaints and technical issues, I will like. Lee side with another EV manufacturer or wait until the EV market segment becomes mainstream. Charging is an issue for any EV owner. This is a major drawback that will prevent others from purchasing EVs. How well did it rate against the other stainless steel refrigerators? Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.